What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand how to do an oculomotor exam so that you can better evaluate your patients and also pass the NPTE. Your oculomotor exam should clue you in onto whether the lesion is peripheral or central and help you figure out some potential treatments. First, have your patient look forward but not focus on a particular target. If they have spontaneous nystagmus, there are a couple of options. So if the nystagmus is horizontal or rotational and stops when they start to fix their gaze on a target, then the lesion is likely peripheral. If the nystagmus is direction changing or vertical, the lesion is likely central. Next, you wanna check the visual field. So how far do their peripherals go? Can they see all around? This will really just give you a better idea of what you're dealing with. To check smooth pursuit, have the patient focus on a pen tip that's a couple feet away from them as you draw two large H's in the air. If their gaze keeps moving away from the pen and they have those psychotic corrections back towards the pen tip, then it's likely a peripheral lesion. If they have asymmetry or they're unable to track the pen at all, then it's likely a central lesion. Next, you wanna check gaze evoked nystagmus. Now basically, you'll have the patient focus on a pen tip at the end range of motion on each side. It's normal to have one to two beats of nystagmus at the end range of motion, but if it continues, there could be a lesion. Peripherally, if the nystagmus is torsional or horizontal, and central if the nystagmus is vertical or direction changing. To check vergence, you want to take a pen tip a couple feet away from the patient and slowly bring it closer to their nose as they focus on that pen tip. Normally, the pen will appear to double about five or six centimeters away from the end of their nose. You should have the patient tell you when the pen appears to double and then measure that distance. If that pen appears to double at 15 centimeters or earlier, then you may have a central lesion. To check saccades, you'll hold two pens or two fingers out in front of the patient and they'll look between them at your command without moving their head. You'll do this a few times and then repeat it vertically as well. If they have more than two corrective motions to find that target, then they may have a central lesion. Now these tests are pretty variable depending on the literature, but this is what I found to be the most consistent among all of the studies. If you have better or updated information, please let me know so I can update this video. I have another video upcoming on treatments for oculomotor and vestibular issues, but you can always use these tests as practice for your treatment. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Remember that it is normal for one to two beats of nystagmus at the end range of peripheral vision. Continuing nystagmus may indicate a lesion in combination with other evidence. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying, go change the world.